Hello everybody, this is Volcanic Gaming, and we are back with another episode of the New York Jets Rebuild, and we are starting up this episode playing against the Bills. The Bills are 8 and I think 4, and we are 7 and 5, so this is a very huge game, and at the beginning of the video was my game crashing. That actually happened like 2 or 3 times, so... Yeah, that, that, was, that wasn't very fun, but we are down 21 nothing already to the Buffalo Bills. We have been blown out by the Bills so many times in this series already. I don't know why. The Bills aren't that good. I mean, they are they are a, play a t playoff team right now, but they still aren't too good. I, I don't understand why we always get blown out by the Bills. They just have our number, but they are up 24-7 to after Humphrey scored a touchdown earlier in that was a pretty nice catch right there, and one man is down, man down, man down. I do not know who that is. That I thought that was Kenny Stills originally, but that's actually later on in the episode. But we are down 24 to seven, and Will Lutz makes this 24 to 10 going into the half. So we are still in this game, only down by two touchdowns. It is 27 to 10 now, and right here is a crucial first down. Well, not a crucial first down. Uh, another bull crap play by Madden because anytime you get it near the first down it'll give you fourth and inches instead of just giving you the first down I don't know why even if you challenge it it doesn't work but Bailey Steed barely gets in there for the first down so still some life in our team down by 17 and oh my gosh Jared gets chased down from behind and that is a fumble which basically seals the game as <laughs> nothing really happens after this another interception in enemy territory that is two touchdowns that we could have had so just a pretty terrible game as we had a lot of turnovers by Jarrett and yeah nothing much doing but right there was a Des Bryant style catch by Anunua except this time in this situation Anunua did not drop it but it looked very very similar and I'm like oh that's that's pretty cool we'll see a couple replays of it right here as he Goes up over the top and makes a pretty nice catch and then reaches for the goal line. It's a good thing he did not fumble it as he was going towards the goal line or else that wouldn't be ruled a catch because of the Calvin Johnson rule. Yep. But now we are in a game against the Arizona Cardinals. Our team is currently now 7-6. and six. We need this game definitely to stay in playoff contention. And right here is a very long field goal by Will Lutz in the second quarter already as our team just hasn't really gotten anything going but now yet again still seven to three approaching the end of the half and right here is a wide receiver screen to Kenny Stills but he ends up getting hurt here it's his back and he will not return this game he will not return for the rest of the season and he will not return in the Jets uniform as a matter of fact as we'll see some other time we will not be keeping Kenny Stills that is for certain but there is a very nice touchdown, and I forgot to mention that Lucky is back. He is back. He, We were definitely missing him as Jared did do a pretty good job, but wasn't as good as Lucky and was not as efficient. And there is a rare fumble by Bailey Steed. We are only down 14 to 10, but Bailey Steed has 99 carrying. I do not know. I don't know how he fumbles like that uh he should never be able to fumble the ball you know with 99 carrying but the cardinals thankfully only came away with three points so they are up 17 to 10 and here is a very long fourth down play but we need to stay in this game as the fourth quarter begins and that is a touchdown pass to Nunoa. that is a very very good shot as he is right into the sun maybe i'll use that as a thumbnail for a future video but I, I like the cry in Fitzpatrick one. That's it's pretty suiting to our, our team in the past few years in real life and on this channel as we still haven't yet to make the playoffs. Maybe in this episode. But still, the game is 17-17. to And that ball is caught by Humphreys. It is a foot race down the sideline. Humphreys, he's at the 20. He's at the 10. He will score a touchdown. But there is... Time remaining on the clock. Hopefully our defense can keep it up. But we just scored a crucial touchdown with less than a minute to go. And we are up by 7 points. This was an amazing play as Humphreys easily beats his man. 
and flies down the sideline. It was basically just a foot race all the way to the end zone after he caught the ball. It, that was an incredible play by Humphreys. And it looks like we might come away with this win. But right there, it was an 18-yard reception and a touchdown one second remaining in the clock. They only had one second rem remaining on the clock and they scored a touchdown. But thankfully, no, wait, we don't get the ball to start off with. They do, and the Cardinals will drive down the field, and they will make it into our territory, and they might end this game right here with a touchdown. Second and one, first and ten now. They are just pounding the ball into our territory, but we were able to stop them, and they get a field goal so if we score a touchdown we win field goal to tie and that was a nice play over the middle but yeah our, this this stuff can never go away uh, this game just likes to screw us over and that is a holding call so it is third and 19 lucky trying to do something he fires that and it is picked off that is going to be the end of the game a pick six to end this game and we are we are done for we are done for we are currently seven and seven but there is a chance still a chance as the Ravens and the Raiders I believe and, and along with the Browns are two te are three teams that are sitting at eight and six going into this game or nine and six going into this game oh nine and five or something like that I, I, I don't really know I think yeah nine and five going into this game so if we can win this game and they can lose two straight, we might actually make it into the playoffs still. And that is a very long touchdown by Bailey Steed. He is a very underrated player on our team because, you know, I only show touchdowns usually to speed up the video. And Bailey Steed has a lot of really good, like, positive plays. And we are down 10-7 to as that is a missed field goal by Will Lutz. But like I said, Bailey Seed has been over a thousand every single season he's been on our team. Even though he's gotten hurt, I think two seasons now for an extended period of time. Period of time. So Bailey Seed is amazing, and right there is a 88-yard punt return by Lemon, which makes the game 20 to 14. That is a really solid play by the computer, and here is a nice catch by Lindsley. Lindsley is our leading receiver. He is already over a thousand going into this game, along with the Nunwa. There are a t our two receivers with some firepower. We are actually going to look for more receivers in the offseason in, uh, the, in the draft because I think that's kind of a lacking point for our team. So maybe some young players will be able to extend our, you know, extend our reach and not have to just rely on two players the entire season. But right there, Lindsley gets stopped on third down. So we are forced to kick a field goal. But... We drive the ball down the field into the fourth quarter, and Lemon gets a block from the fullback, a really nice block from that fullback, and he will be into the end zone. He does the LeBron James. I didn't even know that was incorporated into the game. Pretty cool, but that is a touchdown. The first touchdown, I think, of his career. So we are up. We are now down 27 to 24, and Bailey Steed gets open space down the right sideline, and he will get into enemy territory. And on third down, after a holding call, I think Lucky just decided that he didn't want to risk anything. So he just gets the yards and makes it an easier field goal for Lutz. And Lutz will put that in, and he will tie this game up 27-27. So we are heading into overtime. It is fourth and one. Crucial play, and our fullback barely gets over the line. I, I'm surprised Madden didn't give it to the... Chargers and right here is a very very bad pass by Lucky. It's been kind of in inconsistent ever since he came back, you know, coming back from injury. But right here he fires a pass over the middle to number 19, and then we get stopped. So that will lead to a field goal. We take the lead, 32-27 here in overtime. Can we beat the San Diego Chargers? Can we beat them and stay in playoff contention? And there is a sack on third and four, fourth and nine, and 12 yard reception. Our defense is letting us down on fourth down, as right near, well, third and fourth down. Like right there was a third and 10, and a long pass was completed. 
And I thought we had had an interception or we stopped him or something. And I was kind of happy after that happened. But we ended up losing this game 33-30 to as they scored a touchdown. Uh, really disappointing end to the season. As we will just simulate the last game. And uh, just whatever. Just ignore whatever's on the screen. But it was a really disappointing end of the season. We sent the last game. We end up finishing 8-8. Eight and eight. This season, the off-season video will come out tomorrow or the next day. Not too sure when I'm going to post that, but it'll it'll be out soon. This was this was a really good season overall. I think Lucky was a huge improvement over AC Law. I'll actually I think I actually showed this. I'm going to show the stats next week. Well, in the off-season for the next episode of AC Law, he didn't end up playing all 17. Oh, I mean 16 games in the season. So I think we lucked out with Lucky. Well, that's going to end the video. The screen has been black for a little bit. This is Volcanic Gaming, and I will be signing out.